everyone, Carol from Carol's Vintage Treasures, and I have another ship with me video. I have a few things to ship out. I thought you might like to see how I do it. Now, I've already printed out all my packing slips and my labels, so it goes a little bit more smoothly. I don't think that's a process um, you really want to see. And you don't want to hear me swearing at my computer that the packing slip isn't printing right and stuff. So everything's done. I'm just going to show you today how to pack things up so maybe it'll help you a little bit with your reselling business. Um, this is my Snoopy Halloween piggy bank that sold. I'm going to go ahead and bubble wrap this and you'll see these things in better detail in my what sold video. So I'll tell you how much it sold for and things of that sort, but I haven't had this very long. It sold pretty quickly. All right, got that bubble wrapped, and then I've got a six by six by six box. And all these boxes I usually get at Walmart. That's the cheapest I've found in my area. And I put some paper in the bottom, and I'm gonna put some paper on top. And it's not really, that breakable but I just want to make sure it's well cushioned and it doesn't move around a lot. So go ahead and and got my packing slip. I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to just tape it. I already taped the bottom. Hope you all are doing well and you had lots of sales this week. I am I did pretty well. Things have slowed down a bit for me. I'm not sure why, but I'll figure it out. And I have a priority label for this one. I'm just going to stick it on top there so it looks like that. And that one's ready to go. All right, I have a butter dish here. And it's a ceramic butter dish or pottery. I think it's ceramic. But I have a 10 by 8 by 6 box. I actually get these boxes at Dollar Tree because they... I love this size box. It's perfect for what I do. Perfect for some of the things I ship. So I'll just do, I'll do the bottom first. What the heck. I'm just going to wrap it in bubble wrap so it's well protected. Like that. This and this, and I'll show you how I position it better when I finish. Um, and I just put some paper in here to kind of fill the void and cut down on the vibration when it's traveling in the those mail trucks or airplanes or whatever they put it on. And I do use a lot of bubble wrap. I think it's better to do that than to have an unhappy customer. So that is what I do. Okay. I put paper in the bottom of this box. And now I'm going to put paper in between the two items so that it doesn't um, vibrate against it. And I'm going to put some paper on the sides. And on the top, but you can see, let's do this. I'll go ahead and show you how it looks before I put the final piece of paper on there. I'm using a lot of paper too. Okay, so I'm going to do it like this. 
so it's not touching the other piece it's not touching the sides of the box that will cut down on vibration and it will cut down on breakage i'm going to put one more piece on top right, my packing slip Tape the top. And I use a tape dispenser. It works a lot better for me than a tape gun. Tape guns I somehow get wrapped up in and make a big mess. And this just works better for me. Alright. My air conditioning just came on. I think it's supposed to be. Another hot day here in Arizona. I think we've had triple digits and it's the end of September. So, hoping it cools down soon. All right, got my label on there, got everything taped up. I do not write fragile on things. Uh, I just make sure it's really packed well. As you can hear, it's not moving around. Uh, the, I've heard different stories about when you write fragile on things. I have heard they kick it around in the mailroom. I've heard a lot of different stories. So it works better for me if I just don't, uh, if I don't do that. All right, next I have a necklace. And I put it in this long box because it's kind of a substantial piece there. And I'm putting some tissue paper on top and then I'm gonna tape it so it, the top doesn't pop off. Right. Just a little bit, cause I'm gonna bubble wrap it too. All right. And I'm just going to bubble wrap this. And I'm going to put it in a bubble mailer so it's nice and cushioned and it's not going to see this way. It's not going to come open and damage the, the necklace. And I'm going to put it in one of these uh, bubble envelopes. I think I got these at Big Lots. They were having a clearance sale. And they're all going out of business here in Arizona anyway. I don't know about your neck of the woods, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. Then I'm going to put my packing slip in and I'm going to seal it. I'm also going to tape it because I like that little double added security of it being taped. All right. And then we'll put our label on and this one will be done. Let me know if you like this um, way of doing it better than the other videos I've done. I don't think me sitting at a computer printing out labels and packing slips is important in the process. I think what you want to see more is how I pack things. So let me know if I'm right about that. All right. This is a six by six by six box. I get them at Walmart. And this is um, some tarot cards that a customer bought. And I'm going to put these in a box because they were very expensive. They paid over $50 for these. So I want to take a little extra time and make sure it's packed nicely. Okay, so I put a little bit of paper in there. I'm just gonna put it sideways. And then I'll put another piece of paper in on top and on the sides. Like that. And then I'll put my packing slip in. We'll tape it shut. I like using about three pieces across the top and a couple of pieces on the sides. Like 
that. Then we'll put our label on top like that. That one's ready. Now I do have a book here. I have to wait on the customer to to uh, contact me because the address is not coming out right in the system. And I just want to verify that the address is correct. And this may be the last thing. Yeah, I think this is the last one because I can't do the book yet. And this is just Poshmark. Um, just this little jewelry case. Got it in a thread up box and Poshmark is very simple. You just put it in a medium flat rate box and put the label on top. As long as it's under five pounds, you don't have to go through anything else. So, and this is the smallest priority box I had. And I kind of want it to go in a bigger box anyway, because it's kind of a puffy item. I don't want it to get squished in an envelope. All right. Very easy. That's what I like about Poshmark. Their shipping is great. You just put it in a flat rate or a priority box, put a label on it, and get it out of here. I think that's all. Make sure we got everything here. We got that. 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 Then we just have to wait on our book. So I'll show you the book. Um, you just, what I'm going to do is bubble wrap it like this. And. I guess I can pack it up and just wait for them to do the label and stuff. So, and I'm going to put it in a plastic bag just because I don't want it to get wet or anything by the elements. You never know if you're sending something to some place where they're having rain or, you know, bad weather. So paper items. I generally like to put in a bag. So I'm just going to do this. And this is going out media mail. So I'm just going to put it in an envelope like this. And I put bubble wrap around it so it'll be well protected. And then I'm just going to seal it and put the label on top. So I'll wait for that till they give me the correct address because I don't want to send it out and it to be shipped back. Not good customer service. So that's all I have for today. Just wanted to pack up a few things with you and show you how I do it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And that's really all I have for today. Just shipped a few things, show you how I do it. Let me know how you're doing. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you in our little thrifting family here. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and happy thrifting.